Good morning, good morning. I hope uh, you've started the day well. Uh, here's a quick uh, devotion that we can have as we walk into the day. And we continue to talk about healthy relationships. And today we talk about dealing with insecurities, with insecurities. Who hasn't been insecure before? What is insecurity, by the way? It's a lack of confidence in who you are and your abilities and, 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 and uh, your value as well. Uh, lack of confidence. It's also about fear. You fear or you doubt yourself and you're not too sure that you're who you're supposed to be. And so you're insecure, maybe in your leadership or in something else. Um, and you know, we have different kinds of insecurities that we go through uh, and I've experienced myself. And number one is insecurity in relationships. You know, sometimes you wonder, am I good enough for this person? Uh, do they even trust me? Uh, do I come through for them? Uh, am I the kind of a person that they want? You know, we ask ourselves those questions because of insecurity. Am I a good fit for them? Uh, do I even trust them? Uh, are they going to focus on someone else because I'm not good enough or beautiful enough or, or, or moneyed enough? You know, insecure in who you are. Then you don't want to be vulnerable. You know, when you're insecure, you don't want to open up. You don't want to bring down the walls so that you allow others to get to know you because you're insecure. You're thinking that maybe they'll leave me after a while or maybe uh, they're going to know too much about me and use it against me. That is insecurity. Then we have uh, social insecurity. This is where around people, around social settings, you, don't, you just don't feel like you have something to offer. And I know a friend of mine who is like that, who is always asking, are they going to listen to me? Will they laugh at my jokes? Am I fun enough? Uh, do I look okay? You know, and because of that, then uh, they really struggle around people. And, and they like to seclude themselves and not come to crowds or to people because of that social insecurity. Then there's a big one, uh, body image insecurity. Who among us never felt, especially when you were growing up as a teenager or later in life, that maybe your ears were a little bit bigger than they should be, or maybe your nose, or maybe your eyes, or something else, or your height. Now, I was very short, actually, and I didn't like it because people used to remind me, and I felt insecure because of my height. In fact, I had to pray that God makes me a little bit taller than the pulpit because I knew I would be a preacher. And you can see he actually answered. Uh, so body image insecurity about our beauty, about uh, our presence, about our height, uh, about our appearance generally. And then we have, we have also job insecurity. That you're insecure about your job. You're always wondering, am I going to be laid off? Will I survive? Will I ever be promoted? Uh, and for different reasons. Insecurities could make us very bad for relationships. Look at King Saul. Uh, the one we looked at, uh, and how he felt inadequate, yet he was celebrated, chosen because he was a, a head above, uh, you know, shoulder above the head of everyone. He was tall, he was good looking, uh, he was really, looked like a king. But Look at him being insecure because of David, a young man uh, who is not even grown up enough, who doesn't have too much training. But now he comes into the scene, he's being praised, and Saul becomes insecure, and the relationship becomes a mess. He even wants to kill him. He wants to pin him down with a, uh, a spear because of insecurity. Insecure people spoil relationships because they become oversensitive. They, they, they want to assert themselves even more because they feel insecure. They begin to fight you. They begin to think that you ignored them when you did not ignore them because of insecurity. And you know, we pick up some of these maybe from uh, our traumatic experiences. Maybe someone ignored you at some point or someone told you you're not good enough or you're not adequate. Uh, and because of that, now we grow with these insecurities and we begin to allow them to spoil our relationships. 
or past experiences, things that we have heard. Uh, I remember talking to a lady who told me, you know, I, I think I'm just completely destroying my marriage because all the time I'm thinking my husband is with a woman uh, because I'm insecure because of what I went through when I was young. You know, I found one of my best friends, uh, you know, just uh, gossiping against me and planning birth things against me. And so now I'm always insecure. I think those who are very closest to me are going to hurt me most insecurity um, you know it's it's a bad thing for relationships so what do we do about it number one we need to acknowledge it if we are insecure in any way you feel inadequate you feel you're not good enough you feel that, like you don't have what it takes then you need to admit it and a lot of us have felt like that before so admit it um, agree to it and then after that uh, boldly face it Look at where did it come from? Is it from childhood? Like for me, my insecurity came from being compared to others. When I was young, I always I was being told, you, you are short, look at your friends. Uh, or you, you, you're not as smart as the others. Or you're not as this as, as others. And I had that so many times. I began to feel others were better than me. So I became insecure. But I had to deal with it. I had to face it. And it took me to look at the roots of it. So boldly look at it and deal with it from its roots and then uh, lastly realize that through community we deal with insecurity Be build around yourself a good community that affirms you that celebrates you uh, that tells you what they see in you that you're unique that you have what it takes the more you hear that the more you relate with a community that loves you and it's secure around you then the more you begin to overcome this insecurity but then remember that God is the one who gives you value it's not even human beings depend on God D is depend on God so A is acknowledge it B is boldly face it to the roots uh, C is have a good community around you and D is depend on God let me read these two verses that will guide us through our, uh, our, our thinking today Psalm 16 verse 8 this is what it says I keep my eyes always on the Lord not on people not on the beauty standards of the world, not, not, not the, uh, on the abilities of others. No, I keep my eyes always on the Lord. With him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. In other words, my security, where I stand firm is in God, not in the standards of this world, not in what people tell me, not in what people even don't tell me that I expect them to tell me. My security is in God. I stand on him and I'll not be shaken. I'll not feel less than. I'll not feel inadequate. I'll not feel like others are better than. I'll not feel not enough because my enoughness is in God. And then Psalm 40 verse 2, it says, he lifted me up uh, out of the slimy pit, uh, out of the uh, yeah, mud and mire. That's what he does. He lifts me up. And then he set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. You know, my, my dear friends, we should come at relationships out of our security in God. God made us who we are. He gave us bright minds, gave us a beautiful body. We are fearfully and wonderfully made, gave us the smarts, made us who we are, gave us our skin color, uh, gave us our background, whatever the situation, be secure in God and realize God has brought you out of trouble, lifted you up, glorified you, and placed you on a rock, on a firm place where you can stand. And out of that place of security, Relate to your girlfriend, relate to your spouse, uh, relate to your friends, relate to your partners, relate to other CEOs around you, relate to others out of a place of security. Hey, as you go through today, remember, God loves you to bits. God loves you. The most perfect being in this universe, God himself, he loves you for who you are. And also remember, your worth is not what people pay you, is not uh, where you live. That's not your worth. Your worth is the fact that you're the image of God. You are created in God's likeness. With those two things, 
Walk around with your uh, head lifted up, with your shoulders straight. Walk around with confidence and remember who you are and do not be insecure. May insecurity in you be defeated and may you not spoil your relationships because of your insecurity. At work, at home, wherever else, may you be secure in who you are because you don't have to prove nothing. Whenever you find yourself having to prove something, there's nothing to be proven. You're okay. You don't need to prove anything. Hey, may God bless you. May you have a wonderful day today. But let me say a prayer for us as we walk through this day securely. Lord, we thank you because our security is in Christ Jesus. It's not in money. It's not in looks. It's not in status. Neither is it in education. Is in who we are, that we are loved in you, and we have the image of God, so we have all the value that we will ever need. I pray that as we go through today, whatever from the past has shaken our security and made us insecure, and now those insecurities spoil our relationships, we pray that you will heal that and you'll bring us to a good place of security so we may walk confidently in relationships and be able to take whatever comes because we are, in, we are secure, standing firmly in the rock that you, God, has blessed us in. May the Lord bless us and give us a wonderful day today. In Jesus' name, amen. Walk in your security and bless someone else out of it. Amen.